Hi, my name is Christy. Welcome back to my channel. And wow, do I have a cute video for you today. Um, I was reached out to to see if I could get something out of my face. Um, I was reached out to to see if I could make a hedgehog snuggle sack. I have never heard of this before, but I accepted the challenge. It is a sack that I guess they can crawl into and snuggle, obviously. That's obviously what they are. And um, sleep in, I, I don't know. Anyways, they're so cute. It's fleece lined, it's adorable. I hope you enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Please subscribe to my channel and let's get to it. I'm so excited. Thanks for being here. I'll be making two snuggle sacks, one out of this pink nubby lining and one out of a black fleece lining. And to encourage you to watch this entire video to the end, I will be inserting adorable hedgehog footage throughout. Enjoy. The pink one will be paired with a cute hedgehog print and the black one paired with a black and white stripe. With the fabric folded over once, I am measuring out a rectangle that is 10 inches by 11 inches so that the finished product will be 9 inches by 10 inches. And the exact same measurements for the corresponding pink fleece lining. I cut out the same pieces on the black and white, except whew, that black and white does not show up well on film. To save your eyes, I will focus mostly on the pink one. With right sides together, clip along three sides, leaving the top open. I'm using clips rather than pins because the pins get swallowed by the fleece. Same for the hedgehog print. The hedgehog print is actually a flannel rather than fleece, so I could have used pins, but decided just to go clips all the way. To make the corners rounded, I made a guide for myself by measuring in half an inch for the seam allowance on both sides, and then making a chalk line curve to follow when I sew. Backstitch at the beginning and the end, and sew with a half an inch seam allowance until you get to the corners where you have to carefully pivot the fabric and follow that guideline. And repeat for the cute hedgehog print. Trim down the excess seam allowance and clip the corners. Turn the hedgy sack right side out and smooth out the corners with your fingers. I am loving this nubby material. After repeating that process on the other sack, turn one of them inside out. I love this material, but it is shedding like a Muppet exploded. And fit the one that is right side out inside the one that is wrong side out. loving these nubbies less because this really gave me a struggle. I, it would not fit in there right. I don't know why, I just couldn't get it to fit in right. Until finally, I win. That inanimate object did not get the better of me. With the two pieces finally lined up, pay special attention to lining up the seams and clip it together, leaving about a two inch gap so you can turn it right side out. Starting at one end of the gap that I've marked with a double clip, sew until you reach the other side, which I've also marked with a double clip. Using your hand, start pulling out that inner hedgy sack. This one is almost complete. We just have to sew up that little two inch gap that we had left. Turn the nubby pink fabric so that it fits inside the hedgehog fabric. It looks like there's already a hedgehog inside, which means it's time for another hedgehog clip. Sew the gap close with a ladder stitch. With the fleece, a ladder stitch will make the stitches practically invisible. Start with a knotted piece of thread and tunnel the needle inside one side of the fabric a few millimeters 
and then place the needle directly across to the other side and then tunnel the needle through again just a few millimeters. Continue until reaching the end of the gap. Keep the stitches tight, but not too tight that it bunches weird. Tie off the end with two double knots. I like doing the hide the thread tail method where you poke the needle down inside the fabric, pull it tight, and then clip at the base. And once you straighten it out, it is invisible. To show the double-sided fabric, all you need to do is fold a little lip over and then the hedgehog can crawl inside. Here is Dixie the Hedgehog enjoying her new snuggle sack. I'll show you just a few things on this black and white fabric. It's just a regular cotton because I could not find black and white fleece, but I am anal retentive enough that I needed to make sure that the black and white lines matched up. Here is the moment of truth. Not bad. Same process for the black and white one. Trim the excess, clip some notches, line up the fabric. This one lined up a lot better for me. And sew all around, leaving that gap. Hand sewing this one was actually much easier because of the black lines were a perfect guide for hand sewing the ladder stitch. Turn over that lip and the second snuggle sack is ready for a hedgehog. I hope you've enjoyed this video full of adorable footage and Dixie the Hedgehog would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and like her video. Make it a great day.